dear students under the topic linear equations with singular points here we have a problem which says that find the singular points of the equation 1 minus x squared y double dash minus 2x y dash plus 2 y is equal to 0 also determine whether they are regular singular points or not so now here we have a linear equation from which we have to determine the singular points of the equation. So the first step is to find the singular points of this equation. The singular points of this equation is obtained by setting the coefficient of y double dash to be equal to 0. So always remember in this equation by setting the coefficient of y double dash to be equal to 0 we obtain the singular points. If it is an equation of higher order, then we have to equate the coefficient of highest order term to be equal to 0. Now here, y double dash is the highest order. So the coefficient of y double dash is 1 minus x squared. And so the singular points are obtained by equating 1 minus x squared to be equal to 0. So from this, we can write this 1 minus x squared as 1 plus x multiplied with 1 minus x is equal to 0 by using the formula a squared minus b squared. So from 1 plus x we obtain that x is equals to minus 1 and from 1 minus x we obtain x is equals to 1 and so therefore the value of x is equal to plus or minus 1. So therefore the singular points are x is equal to 1 and x is equal to negative 1. So these are the singular points. Now we have after finding the singular points the second question here is also determine whether they are regular singular points or not. So in order to know this we have to determine the nature of the singular points at x equal to 1 and at x equal to negative 1. For which we have to rewrite the given equation in the form y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of x y is equal to 0. So after rewriting this we have to check whether p of x and q of x are analytic. So if p of x and q of x are analytic then analytic then the singular points the singular points are said to be regular singular points if they are not analytic then they are said to be irregular singular points so i have written that here so if p of x and q of x are analytic then they are uh, then the singular point is regular singular point and if they are not analytic then the singular point is irregular singular point now what is analytic how do we know that p of x and q of x are analytic so to know that what we have to do is if limit x tending to x naught x minus x naught multiplied with p of x if this is equal to some finite value or if it is not equal to infinity okay and also if limit x tending to x naught x minus x naught the whole squared q of x if this is also equal to some finite value that is it is not equal to infinity then both p of x and q of x are said to be analytic. So if this is analytic then the given point that x naught becomes a regular singular point. So when do we say that they are not analytic if even one of the uh, value becomes infinite. So if either this or this if any one becomes infinite then p of x and q of x are, are said to be not analytic. Okay, so if they are not analytic, then uh, the singular points becomes an irregular singular point. So let us uh, use this method to solve the given problem. So as the first step, what we have to do is we have to rewrite the given equation in this form. 
so let us rewrite us rewrite in this form and let us uh, find p of x and q of x from that so the given equation is 1 minus x squared y double dash minus 2x y dash plus 2y is equal to 0 now in order to rewrite this equation we have to divide this equation by 1 minus x squared throughout so when this term is divided by 1 minus x squared it becomes y double dash minus 2x divided by 1 minus x squared y dash plus 2 divided by 1 minus x squared y is equal to 0. So from this by co comparing with y double dash plus p of x y dash plus q of y q of x okay q of x y is equal to 0 comparing this and this we can see that the value of p of x is equal to negative 2x divided by 1 minus x squared and the value of q of x is equal to 2 divided by 1 minus x squared. Now we have to check whether p of x and q of x is analytic or not for which we have to write limit extending to x naught of x minus x naught p of x so we have to find this so first what we shall do at the point there are two singular points that is x is equals to plus 1 and x is equals to minus 1 so first what we will do at the point x equal to 1 let us check the nature of the singular point so the value of x naught here is 1 so when we take this to be 1 so it will be equal to limit x tends to x naught so it is 1 and then x minus 1 multiplied with p of x p of x is this so it will be negative 2x divided by now this denominator can be written as 1 plus x multiplied with 1 minus x so now that will be equal to limit x tends to 1 x minus 1 this uh, negative sign can be multiplied with this term and so it will become 1 plus x multiplied with x minus 1. So when this negative sign gets multiplied with this term, we obtain like this. So this and this term gets cancelled. Now we shall apply the limit. So when we apply the limit as x tends to 1, so we get 2 multiplied with 1 is 2 divided by 1 plus 1 which is 2 and so the value becomes 1 which is not equal to infinity. This is a finite value which implies that P of X is analytic at the point X not equal to 1. In a similar way we have to also calculate at X not equal to 1 we have to find limit X tends to X not and then X minus X not the whole squared Q of X. So we have to evaluate this. So this will be equal to limit x tends to x naught is 1 and then x minus 1 multiply the whole squared multiplied with q of x. Now what is q of x here? 2 by 1 minus x squared and so that will be 2 divided by now that 1 minus x squared can be written as 1 plus x multiplied with 1 minus x. So now that is equal to limit x tends to 1. Now because we have a square here this term can also be written as 1 minus x the whole square. It doesn't make a change because anyway it is a square of this term. So 1 minus x the whole square multiplied by 2 divided by 1 plus x multiplied by 1 minus x. So one of the 1 minus x gets cancelled and now when we apply the limit here as x tends to 1, 1 minus 1 becomes 0 and so this full value turns out to be 0 which is not an infinite value. This is a finite value. 0 is a finite value. So therefore q of x is analytic. So hence p of x and q of x is analytic and therefore the nature of the singular point at x is equals to 1 is a regular singular point. So regular singular point. So in a similar way we have to check the nature of the singular point at x equal to negative 1. So let us see that now. 
So now the second point is at x equal to negative 1. What happens to limit x tends to x naught of x ten x minus x naught p of x? So that will be equal to limit x tends to negative 1 x minus x naught so minus into minus becomes plus 1 because x naught is equals to negative 1 so x plus 1 multiplied with p of x which is negative 2x divided by 1 minus x squared can be written as 1 minus x multiplied with 1 plus x so these two terms gets cancelled and as we apply the limit as x equal to negative 1 we get minus 2 into minus 1 divided by 1 minus of minus 1 is plus 1 and so that turns out to be 2 divided by 2 which is equal to 1 and 1 is a finite value that is it is not equal to infinity. In a similar way we have to evaluate limit x tends to x naught of x minus x naught the whole squared q of x. So that is equal to limit x tends to negative 1 again here it becomes x plus 1 the whole squared multiplied with q of x is 2 by 1 minus x squared so that can be written as 2 divided by 1 minus x multiplied with 1 plus x and one of the 1 plus x gets cancelled and as we apply the limits x is equal to negative 1 here this whole term turns out to be 0 because negative 1 plus 1 becomes 0 and the value of this is equal to 0. And again this is a finite value which is not equal to infinity. Therefore we understand at the point so at x is equal to negative 1 the singular point is a regular singular point. Regular singular point. So therefore here we have two singular points x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 1 which are both regular singular point and hence we have discussed the nature of the singular point. Hope you have understood this problem. Thank you.